And then probably the last five years of it started to get lonely, started to feel like, am I going to be that old guy in the club with the <laughs> two chains on? Welcome to After Love. We have just aired episode three of the uh, series finale season of Black Love. Your past does not define you. I am Cody Lane Oliver, the director of the show with my co-producer, co-founder, co-creator, producer, cinematographer, husband. Did I, I leave you. something out? Did I leave something out? I love you. Okay, I'll thank you, Tony. <laughs> as well as Adrian and Rodney Norris. Y'all, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for welcome. having us. Thank you for having us. So the big question. Did you hate it? <laughs> no, not at all. No, it, I, I, it was strange seeing ourselves on camera <laughs> yeah. like that, though. It was kind of like, oh, what are we doing? What did we say? Like, <laughs> Did you remember? Like, were you like, I don't remember saying that. No. All of it was. Yeah, I think we we felt like we we could have been more honest. Mm, yeah. Really? Yeah. I think we. We I critiqued think we... it to to the tenth degree. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you wish you had said? Well, it wasn't that. <laughs> you know that we wish we had said anything yeah. different. It's just the the feeling that. You know, when you're talking about your life, your mm -hmm. your life involves other people. Yeah. And so yeah. it's that protective element. Right. Um, you know, you kind of protecting and, and respecting yeah. people's privacy and, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's all of that, but yeah. it's all good. Yeah. I totally get that. And like, obviously it's such a vulnerable space that that's why I am just forever grateful for you all. And obviously all of the couples on Black Love that have shared so vulnerably. I mean, this episode was fun for me or I think like meaningful for me because I think that we get caught up in the mistakes that we made mm -hmm. and our past, like, right? right? That's why it's called your past does right. not define you. Mm -hmm. And like all of the things that we've done and not done well or whatever, and feel like we're not worthy or feel like we'll never find that person. And so I just appreciate everything that you did share. Well, thank you. Because, you know, I think it's really valuable. So was there, was there a moment that stood out to you as, A, when you were watching, like, did you reflect on any of those times in your life? <laughs> you know what was really <laughs> funny for yeah. me? Is that, you know, we have, our history is so long mm -hmm. that we can't remember yeah. times, <laughs> you know, whereas everybody else is, you know, the, the other couples seem to be pretty clear when this happened and this well, it's happened. also more recent. <laughs> yeah, it's more recent, but our history is so long, like, Oh, like, I remember the, I don't remember what year I met him and all of that. I really don't remember. That's like my favorite part. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I, you know, I just, those kinds of things, I just don't remember all the particulars of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess it made me feel like, do we not know what our <laughs> own story? <laughs> yeah, but, and I'm, I'm a know. little more um, Timely, you know, in, in, in regards to that, I'm, I'm kind of more in contact with the with the dates and times mm -hmm. yeah. than she is. So um, I think it's pretty yeah. pretty close, mm -hmm. except yeah. for the pictures where it says I think I'm 34, she's 37. 37. I think I we were younger think than that. that. Yeah, I think. Yeah. We were, oh, really? I, I we do. I think we were younger, younger than that. I don't, not that much yeah, younger, but years, I think we yeah. were a couple of years younger than that. Um, but no, more more than that. I don't. Were we in our? But that just speaks to we can't remember <laughs> yeah, we this can't, time. Yes. Yeah. No, but I, I love that too because I think that, and I forgot who. Was, you know, we shared you guys on our socials, of course. But I love, I because my parents were divorced too. I love stories where people like come back around to each other. Yeah. And so you know, I, I just absolutely adore the fact that you guys did meet all that time ago and that mm -hmm. you have a picture of it. <laughs> that is just... That is a pretty special picture, too, because we actually had a flood in... Well, I had a flood in the house that Jada and I mm -hmm. were in on Price Avenue in the basement. And so all of our, you know, pictures got destroyed. Like, even all the pictures that I had of Jada and, you know, so all of my, you know, growing up pictures with her, a lot of them were destroyed. Mm -hmm. So that is the one yeah. picture that I have of us together. I, I have some individual shots, but just... So when you look back, I mean, we did that interview months ago right. now. So I'm curious, how many years married? Five or six? Coming all up years on married. six. Coming up on six. Okay, six yeah. years married. And that was months ago. Like, is there anything that you think about now 
that you've learned? I know we talked about the argument and we talked about how you <laughs> communicate with each other, which is also a wonderful moment because the reality is like we realize the patterns that we have to break. That was another, mm -hmm. your past does not define you kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So when you think now, even you know a couple months ago, we mm -hmm. sat down with you guys, is there anything else you would say that you've learned about yourself or about partnership and marriage? Well, for me, I, I would just say that I'm just glad that I didn't give up, mm. you know, after so many, I don't want to say failures, because there are experiences that you learn from that you should anyway. Yeah. And so I try not to look at my previous marriages as failures, mm -hmm. but I'm glad that I didn't give up on love. And the fact that I was, what, when we got married, I was 63, you were 60, he had never been married before. And people were like, well, why are you even getting married, you mm -hmm. know? But we got married because, <laughs> I mean, you know, what does that look? Yeah. I love, wait, I love Rodney's looks though. You're telling the story. I don't know what you, yeah. This is your story. You're telling it. Well, you know, I, I really like the idea of a partnership. That's what, yeah. that's what I said then and that's what I be believe now. I'm just glad that we had the opportunity to come back around because I felt like we had something back then and we yeah. just missed it. It was really unresolved, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. We missed it. Yeah. You know, we missed the opportunity because of the condition that I was in, that we both were well, in. We, yeah. We talked about that a bit and about like, you know, she shared that and you kind of said ditto, right? But you being single all that time, you did not get married until you all reconnected. Correct. And you also talked about like what it took for you sort of, well, you sort of putting in the back of your mind the fact that she had been married so many times and that not being an issue for you ultimately. Right. But how would you say you sort of prepared yourself, if at all, or knew that you were ready at the time that you were? Yeah. Um, I actually didn't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, I felt it. Again, I'm 60. I was 60 at the time. Mm -hmm. So I had, I had been doing, I had been living alone. I, I didn't even live with anyone. Yeah. So I had been living alone for a long time, and I enjoyed that to a degree. And then probably the last five years of it started to get lonely started to feel like, am I going to be that old guy in the club with the <laughs> two chains on? <laughs> I don't go to clubs, but... You know, or wear two chains. Yeah, or wear chains, but I just kind of had that feeling of that guy. Like, mm -hmm. I just didn't want to be that guy. And But I had kind of resolved myself to maybe this is what it's going to be. I mean, I was dating, I was in relationships, not really living with anyone. Did you have that realization before y'all reconnected? Yes. Okay. So yes. when you reconnected, like, what was that like, oh, I think this might be the thing that's going to keep me off the club with the chain. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually never envisioned her and I. Yeah. You know, we, we were friends and we would see each other from time to time, but I just never envisioned that. Mm. Um, and then when I, you know, I, I saw her and, we, and I went to an event that she had and we just started talking and, you know, it, I realized that she was divorced again and at, I still didn't think dating or marriage, mm -hmm. but it was just kind of like we, we communicated and it just started getting better and better and, mm -hmm. you know, things happened. And, and it clicked. It was like, this is it. This do you remember that moment or like that period? I do. I remember vividly when, it was, when I said to myself that, you know what, if this opportunity presents itself, like this could be it. This could, this could take the chains off me. <laughs> <laughs> This could keep me out the club with the two chains on, yeah. And I'm actually, you know, I actually commend him for that, though. I actually mm -hmm. commend him for not getting married all those years ago. Because I, I just, you know, I think you knew yourself enough to know that you weren't ready. Right. There's a couple on the, on the um, show that talks about the, the gentleman says, you know, I just, I, I never thought about getting married, like, for Pierre. what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we were kind of looking at this stuff, you felt like you related to him more. Like, you didn't think, you did, never really saw yourself married. Right. I mean, it was something that I wanted to experience, but I don't think I ever really did the work necessary mm -hmm. to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think you did that before you met her in that period where you were thinking about not wanting to be lonely with two chains? <laughs> <laughs> to a point, but I, I, I would still, um, 
you know, I w- I, even though I was 60, if I kind of, I, I wasn't really that committed, mm-hmm. so I would veer off here and there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how much has that changed within you since you've mm. been married? Totally. So we went through a period um, when, we were to, when we started dating that I still kind of veered. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of veered? <laughs> Your ass beard. <laughs> oh, oh. And, and um, that was a moment that really got me in touch with that part of me, yeah. that that yeah. work hadn't been done yet. Mm-hmm. And I needed to do that. Um, and thankful for her that, or for me, that she gave me the opportunity and we stayed together for me to do that work. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, because really it was, it was, to me, it was really a decision. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, like, do you want to be in a committed relationship? Do you want to be in a committed marriage? And I think it's, it's a well, conversation. Well, we weren't married. No, and we I know. Weren't, yeah. I know. She was thinking about it. Well, because we had already talked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So you're talking about getting married, but you, I don't think you're done. Mm. Right. You know, mm. and so, yeah. but this is, this is the thing that I understand, too, about marriage um, I think that people don't have the conversations that they really need to have. Mm-hmm. No, um, we people don't. Period. And it's yeah. part of it. I think is oversight and naivete and like right. marriage is supposed to be so natural right. and I'm happy right. and you're happy. And, and then it's part supposed of it is, to be monogamous. Yeah. Okay, but is that what you really want? Mm-hmm. And I do believe that people have the right to create a marriage that works for them. Not just the right. I think. I don't want to say the responsibility, but Mm -hmm. my observation, we've talked to hundreds of couples and we've talked to couples who've been married 60, 70 years. And my observation is how different the reasons people got married were and now and how there's so much, there's so many options. I don't just mean options like other people. I mean, ways to live, bi-coastal, bi-continental, if that's a thing. (laughs) You know, like there's so many ways to live your life. You have to you coordinate to, and align with that person mm-hmm. and figure right. out what they're okay with. Right. And that includes, you know, open marriages and whatever exactly. the thing is that's that's going to make two people happy who choose to be together. Right. And and I'm, you know, I feel like we're not talking about that enough. Exactly. People are all right. trying to fit into the box of like, well, my grandparents yeah. were right. together for 70 years. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, it's not it's not that. So we had to have that conversation. Yeah, we did. We had to have that yeah. conversation because I was like, okay. Like, if that's what you want to do, just remember that what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> Boo-boo. Yeah, but that, that's just not who, you know, it's just not who I wanted to be. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I had to resolve that. Yeah. And, and, and I did. And I can't imagine. Um, Was it resolved quickly for you? Yes. Relatively quickly. Because it wasn't really, I, I don't even know. And I think I think age had some something to do with it too. So like, come on, hopefully, work to be yeah, hopefully <laughs> in the club, <laughs> veering, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like really, and, come on, yeah. And it wasn't, um, it, you know, again, it wasn't. It didn't take long. Mm-hmm. It was it was resolved, and it, and it was kind of I can't explain it because I never really had that feeling anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I just when I thought about hurting her or what that would do to her, it just I couldn't imagine putting anything else being worth it. Exactly. I couldn't imagine anything else being. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy with the words. See, that's, yeah. why, that's why we need that's you. That's why we need you here. <clears throat> Did you ever actually entertain, like, would you have been open to a relationship where you're both veering or were you just like, listen, sir? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. That wouldn't have worked for me. Yeah. It wouldn't have worked for me either. It wouldn't have Because if it, yeah. it worked, then I wouldn't have been so mm-hmm. upset when, mm-hmm. when it happened. Right. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think that. I mean, I think I might have said that I would try, but I don't, I don't think that I, I would no, have but been I, I don't in, think it's in something agreement that with that. Either one of us, I didn't want that. I didn't want that for myself, but I think it was just some residual... Yeah, tomfoolery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, having had your amazing almost six year marriage and the experiences of, you know, being married before, dating, et cetera, like, are there any sort of marriage principles that you guys live by besides no tomfoolery? Um, <laughs> but like, are, are, there, are there 
check-ins that you have? Like what keeps you guys strong? I would say definitely check-ins. Communication. Yeah, like because- Like we still talk all day long. Mm -hmm. it's, it's ridiculous. Like we'll call each other first thing in the morning. We have like a daily check-in in the morning. Well, cause it's you're, not a check-in. Because we're, we're, co yeah, we're bi-coastal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even when we weren't, or, or even when we aren't, if I'm here or if she's in Maryland, we still, we still have that same routine. Like mm -hmm. she'll call me first thing in the morning. I'm usually in the office and, this, and we'll talk. And then, uh, you know. We we'll, talk several times a day. Several times a day. <laughs> or something, com something comes up or something happens in the news. It's mm -hmm. like we're calling each other. Hey, yeah. did you see this? Did you, you know, what do you think about this? And we're having these conversations all day long. And then, you know, when I come home, it's like it's a continuation of that. So it's like she's still my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, I just really think communication is just, just so important. I just can't, you gotta be able to talk about, I feel like you gotta feel like you can talk about anything and mm -hmm. everything, even if you don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if you don't, I still feel like I can if I have to. Yeah. Right. You know, like I have conversations with my girlfriends and I know that, um, some of those conversations are, are personal between the girls, so I wouldn't have those conversations, mm -hmm. but if I needed to, I could, mm -hmm. and that it would be safe, you know? And so, I don't know, that's just, that's just really, really important to me, and the fact that, you know, Rodney accepts me as I am, and I, I say that all the time, because I've experienced those relationships and those marriages when I just wasn't exactly what they thought I should be. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't even think, I don't even think they realized that. I don't even think they realized that they were yeah. trying to change who I was. Mm -hmm. You know, but at the end of the day, that's really what it was about. And people that think that they love you, ah, do you really? Yeah. And I know that, that Rodney really conditions. loves me. Yeah. yeah. And that doesn't mean that there's not room for growth either, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, we talk about that all the yeah. time too. Because we definitely, yeah. there's always definitely room for growth and always trying to be better. Right, better versions of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if you guys ever talk to other, not talk to just communicating like this, but advise other couples. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> I feel Advi like you have so much perspective. No? How y'all gonna cut your <laughs> eyes like that? Really? Do you not feel that way? Like you have a lot to offer? I do. Okay. But we typically stay out of people's business. Uh, okay, 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 <laughs> yeah, okay, um, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. And okay. I just don't like the idea of advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Advice just makes it seem like you know better than mm -hmm. somebody yeah. else. Yeah. I, you know, I like the idea of sharing your experience yes. with something, Agreed. but as far Agreed. as giving advice, oh no. That's fair, that's fair, and that's a good way to yeah. look at it. I mean, I think of it as your experience, your perspective, and, and what I think our generation or whatever, those to come, like, need more than anything is the recognition that we're not, we don't have to be perfect. Right. To your point, to like, be loved exactly as we are. Um, and that no one's perfect, you know, but right. that realization that we're all trying to chase something in relationships, in our careers, whatever, and the reality is we have to work harder at being our best selves right. and crafting the relationships and the life that we want. Right, and that's a good word to use too, crafting mm -hmm. the relationship that works for you because the marriage is between mm -hmm. the two people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't require approval from everyone else. It re requires approval from the two that are in the marriage. Mm -hmm. So. That part. Yeah. So true. Nobody yeah. else gets a vote. Exactly. Nobody else has any input. It's your relationship. What works for you two, what works for us. Nobody else in the damn business. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's it. And we can do something that you're like, I would never do that. Okay, that's fine. Right. We do the same thing, and it's yeah. perfectly fine because exactly. it's your relationship. Exactly. And as long as you two are happy, then that's what matters. Right. And sometimes you have to figure out how to make things work because we didn't come into this relationship thinking that we were going to be living by coastal. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, that happened, and that opportunity was an opportunity that, you know, we just couldn't turn down. But we also didn't really recognize that it was going to keep us separated mm -hmm. 
more than we right. really want it to be. Mm -hmm. And it has been, it has been challenging. Yeah, it's, it it's has definitely been challenging. a challenge. And, and we have to kind of deal with it on the fly. Like yeah. we didn't have any preparation How long for it. has it been long distance? Three years. Yeah. And with yeah. technical, I'm yeah, guessing yeah, no yeah, end in tough. sight, right? Like you're kind of doing this indefinitely. Oh. It will end, but it's not like you know the date to date. Right. Yeah, no, we don't right. know the date today. We, and we're even just trying to work his um, company such that he can afford to be with me more mm -hmm. on the West Coast, but mm -hmm. you know, he's the boss. Yeah. He's the boss <laughs> and he, you know, with the pandemic and you know, not having the support staff that he needs, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's been very difficult because I'm always like, even I just said this to him the other day in the car. I was like, you need to stay out here for the rest of the month and let them figure it mm. out. And then you, you know, you have an opportunity to see what that's like. And he's like, well, yeah, but I didn't prepare for that. So let me just go back. <laughs> let me do it next time. And let me yeah. just, let's see if we could do it next month. And I'm like, okay, here we go. It's always next month. And but it will I probably it. be fine, but it's just my holding on to, you know, like I've built this from, from yeah. nothing. So. Right. It, it it it's it's, it's personal. Your baby. Yeah, and it's I personal. ain't trying to give advice, but if you say it'll probably be fine, you might need the test I for yourself more I than agree. anything else. And we talked about that too. <laughs> I agree. Thank you, Kobe. <laughs> I'm not giving advice though. You know what I'm saying? But I, look, I, I'm like speaking from my perspective because he is certainly the king of like telling me what to let go of, okay. and I feel I definitely relate to what you're saying. And the reality is I have to let go in order to see wins, failures, changes that need to happen. I mean, I, I relate. I truly do. Okay. I really do. I think it's also though, important to think about time. And yeah. time mm -hmm. is our most important mm -hmm. and most valuable asset. And so how much is it really worth it in the end? Yeah. So yep. just the amount of time we can spend with the people that we love. And Sure, you can do more things or buy more things, but is it really worth it? And I'm right given there, Tommy. how much yeah. quality time you still, or the opportunity cost of it. Right. 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 And I'm right there. Yeah, I'm glad you made that point because I think about that all the time. Yeah. Because we don't get it back. Right. We don't we, get it nope. back. And for us, you know, right now we're healthy and, mm -hmm. and we're, we're doing well, but there are more years behind us than there are ahead of us which is another reason that kind of pushed us into the relationship too. Well, not pushed us into the relationship, but I didn't want to waste a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to waste a lot of time. I was like, this is, this is the opportunity yeah. that we missed before. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> let's which, go for it. Which makes so much sense. Again, like you two you look young and spry, but it's like, okay, you quit at 75 and then the, the quality of life or quality of what your right. time looks yeah. like at that point is like, well, you know, now I've got time. Well, exactly. now you can't go anywhere. Right. Now you can't enjoy your life because... Because you know. you're old and tired. Yeah. yeah. Your knees hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you always say? Like money, like essentially, like you work to have money for freedom. Basically. And it's the idea of you don't live to work, you work to live. Yeah. Right. And sorry, the other way. You don't, you don't work to live. Wait, what? Not that one. Let's, let's leave that one out. <laughs> Which but, one do you think? I don't know. Well, I don't, not that. <laughs> Either way, but it's it's the idea of it's figuring out how to spend the time that you have yeah. well. Yeah. And there are things that are far more important than work, even if you are fortunate enough to really care about what you do for mm -hmm. work. And own the business or for run sure. the business, you know. For sure. But there are things that matter so much more, and it's about enabling you to be able to spend time with the people that you love. Yeah. So we'll be doing a check-in. <laughs> He's not ready for check that. If I'm check still, check see in if I'm with still some here. crab cakes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, crab cakes. And a cheesesteak. <laughs> a real cheesesteak. Not steak. vegan. Not vegan cheesesteak. <laughs> she tried to give me a vegan cheesesteak. A vegan a, Philly cheesesteak. A guy from, from Philly. Philly. No, 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 no. She's she telling you, a vegan Philly. 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 Yeah, a guy from Philly cannot <laughs> eat a vegan cheesesteak. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry. You know, you may not let's just trick him. You know, let's just see if we just hand it to him, see what happens. Two chains. Oh, oh, you gonna be in the club now? over a vegan cheesesteak? Oh okay. man, okay, I see how it is. 
Well, I just want to say we really appreciate you guys Thank you. sharing your story. Also, just being supportive. Okay, I have seen the comments over the years, oh, and yeah. I'm just really grateful. Absolutely. We love black love. Yeah, we've always loved black love. Yeah, and I've always been a fan. The opportunity to be on was, like, incredible. So, yeah. Yeah, she had been shouting that out for a while. <laughs> and finally, you guys heard. <laughs> And now that you've been on it, you don't regret it. <laughs> Absolutely yeah, right? not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. It was so much fun. I, I just I can't say it enough because we're. I'm just so grateful um, because it's the the vulnerability and sharing the experiences that really help right. others like walk mm -hmm. the path and feel like like it's possible. And so yeah, we're glad to show like... that 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 there is love after fifty. Right. And you know for what's us, funny? love after sixty. We ran into, we were at the Disney Dreamers Academy earlier this year, and we were on a, a carpet, a step and repeat. And you mm -hmm. remember this woman came up to us and she was like, mm -hmm. I forgot how she opened, but very quickly she said something about like trying to find love. And she was like, but I've already been married a lot of times. And, we, and I was like, well, how many, right? And I think she ultimately told us mm -hmm. it was at least three, mm -hmm. if not four. And I was like, that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, I have just talked to somebody who's on her fourth and very happy. <laughs> yep. That can be it you, sis. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. but if you don't see it, if you don't see it, you right. don't know. Right. And that's, you know, with anything. Right. So, exactly. all right. So we appreciate y'all and we'll be checking in with you. Okay, when you do Please what? Do. We're looking for 30 whole days here. Yeah, we're at for, least. Okay, at 30 least. days. 30 days. Are you spending more time here or there? There. So we should at least get to where you're spending more time with her and Ellen. Correct. I agree. I agree. Yeah, because well, if I want to get... Because if, she comes there too, so it's, it balances. Yeah, if I come there because I can't get you here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, And I have more free time to do that. That's yeah. true. Right, that's I the do. other thing. So it's not like I just come here. She's coming there too, mm -hmm. so... We do, it does kind of balance out. It's not like we're not seeing each other. Yeah. So but I'll when come I come here. there, I stay longer. <laughs> you she do. wants I'm more saying. of me here. I understand. <laughs> I want more of me here. All right. Well, we're all aligned. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have vegan cheesesteaks. We'll no, go no, roller no, skating. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, roller skating. <laughs> roller skating. We can go roller skating, not with cheesesteaks, but <laughs> our vegan. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's After Love for the evening. Watch Black Love next week and watch After Love and Black Love mm -hmm. on the Black Love Plus app. Yes. That was supposed to be a wink, but it kind of was a blink anyway. Mm -hmm.